Level 100, a new challenger appears. Stylish stranger is eagerly looking about. <laughs> ah, I found you at last. You, my good madam, you were born to be a star. Let me to introduce myself. I am Metum, head of strategic management at Ascension Arcadia, the premier enterprise for entertainment in Solution 9. Our flagship facility is the Arcadian, a combat arena, and it is there that we host the Ascension Arcadia Championship. It is the pinnacle for fighters in Alexandria, and I want you to be among them. As you may have heard, circumstance had forced us to close the arena's doors for a time, but the time is ripe to reopen them. Her Majesty's tragic passing has left our citizens disconsolate. By providing them with gripping entertainment, it is our hope to help them forget their cares for a while. We are, if we are to accomplish that, however, it will not do to show them what they have seen countless times before. No, they need something new, someone new. Who better than she, who not only protected our citizens from the king's army, but struck down the king himself? That was you, yes? So it was, so it was, and so, for your strength and valor, the president of the Federation has marked you to be the Arcadian's next great star. Imagine it, an upstart, the people's protector, arrives on the scene and challenges the Arcadian's mightiest to rise up as grand champion. What could be more gripping, I ask you? For your part, you will naturally be well compensated. The finest equipment Solution 9 has to offer awaits you after each and every victory. I dare say this has you enticed, but you need to make up your mind right away. If you are keen to test your strength with win rich rewards, then come to the Arcadian at the end of this avenue. The attendant will show you in. With that, I bid you farewell for now. I shall look forward to a favorable response. Just accepted. Ah, Zilli, Master Metam has been expecting you. If you would follow me, I will take you to him. To the Arcadian, yes. You're doing this all blind. You came. By this, I take it you will fight in the Arcadian? Allow me to be the first to welcome you to the fold. Now then, I shall explain to you. Hmm. You look like you've got some fight in you, I suppose. Still, you can only be so strong without being a soul shifter. You wouldn't last long against any of us. Well, aren't you just a treat? I look forward to meeting you on stage. You're a puny candle before my roaring flame. Make it to me and I'll blast you out of the ring.
Those are some of the fighters you will face. They are all ahem characters, as you can see, but I hope you do not take offense at their words. Consider it their way of welcoming you. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. As I have mentioned, the Ascension Arcadia Championship is a fighting competition. The realm's mightiest duke it out and bid to become the grand champion. No doubt that all Alexandrians would be captivated by your journey as a challenger and cheer you on as you fight your way up the ranks. Speaking of ranks, the fighters of the Arcadian are divided into three tiers, light heavyweight, cruiserweight, and heavyweight. The ultimate objective is become the undisputed champion in all the tiers and thereby rise up to the grand champion. As a rookie, your campaign begins in the light heavyweight tier, where you must defeat your three rivals ranked therein. Goodness gracious me, I almost forgot to mention a most important thing. The Arcadian has its own repository of feral souls, which our fighters utilize in battle. So potent are these souls, they alter the fighters' very forms. Lest you wonder, it is the potency of the souls employed that separates the championship's three tiers. I'm given to understand you do not use a regulator. Even when you face the king, you did not rely on souls of any kind. That is most impressive indeed. But that, be that as it may, it would be egregiously unfair for you to compete with not to balance the scales. Fortunately, here at the Arcadian, we also have so the souls of former champions in storage. We will use them to create allies to fight alongside you. To make sure they work with you like well-oiled machine, we will draw upon your memories to fine-tune their appearance and abilities to your liking. Sounds a lot like the Endless, like the arcane manifestation of Galul Jaja. Endless? I'm not familiar with that term, but I assure you there is nothing untoward in the technique we employ. It simply brings forth a temporary simulacrum. And for the purposes of the evening, evening the odds, I believe seven of these simul simulacra should suffice. What do you think? Using souls for entertainment is wrong. The souls in your repository should be set free. Hmm. I had expected that you might harbor reservations about the use of souls. Those who hail from outside the barrier often do. So I have a proposal, an additional incentive, if you will. For each victory you claim, I shall release the souls of those who fought beside you. You, my friend, would be the star who brings fresh change to the Arcadia. So what say you? Are you willing to fight under those terms? Excellent. Now I would tell you more about the Arcadian, but let us save it for after your first bout. After all, it'd be pointless if you end up losing straight away. With that, I officially welcome you as a fighter of the Arcadian. When you are ready to take to the arena, you need but say the word. Level 100, a new challenger appears. Complete. By completing matches in the Ascension Arcadia Championship, you may earn valuable artifacts. These can be exchanged for equipment by speaking with the uh, Hidri and Solution 9. Level 100, the Claw in the Dark. Meet him gazes at you expectantly. You ready then? Excellent. Be rest assured, I will be here to guide you in the beginning. Now, I shall introduce your first opponent. Pray, look at the monitor. This here is Black Cat, feared as the Claw in the Dark. That's right, she's the one who took your measure earlier. While she's still a rookie herself, you'd be wise not to underestimate her. She has a real talent and is expected to go far. Her feral soul is Kath Palu, a terrible feline said to have pushed a legendary hero to his limits. 
With its power, she became unimaginably nimble, and her very claws can rend steel. You'll need to keep your wits about you. Now, you should know that the ring is uniquely configured to complement the fighting style of your foes. This is in order to provide the audience with a spectacle. After all, we're first and foremost in the business of entertaining. On a similar note, I should mention that I'm also the commentator for m matches. Leave it to me to squeeze every drop of excitement out of your fight. Now then, you had best see to your preparations. You may emerge victorious in your day. AAC Light Heavyweight M1, now accessible. New regular duty has been added to the duty finder. Okay. We'll queue up, I suppose. Level 100, AAC Light Heavyweight M1. At Medem's invitation, you have entered the Ascension Arcadia Championship, a competition in which greatest fighters of Alexandria face off in a bid to become grand champion. Yet your opponents would wield feral souls to augment their strength, so you in turn must use a simulacra of past warriors to balance the scales. Your debut match is against Black Cat, a fellow rookie harnessing the power of Cat Walu. And if you are the sea's victory against this feline foe, you shall need to be agile indeed. Oh, wow, that was quick. <laughs> Immediately. Light party. Cool party. Dr. Raw, AAC Light Heavyweight M1. In the dark, black cat. I haven't done anything but crafting in a while. I hope this goes well. <laughs> I sharpen these just for you. Beautifully dodged. I'm getting the gist of it so far, but it's still like really early. This, I wonder? Biscuit baker. Oh, <laughs> just walked right off it. Please bear with us while we was bad. I couldn't see with like all the people 
and my uh, tight in the way and I just walk right off to it. What are we supposed to do for that? you like a cod! Like too zoomed out. Your mid meat. Oh, oops. Even I felt that one. Oh, but the challenge is still standing. I think it's going all right other than me having fallen off. Oh dear, the challenger has fallen out of the ring. That was me, I did that earlier. Echo of my soul. <laughs> They're still in it, but for how long? What are we supposed to do for that? I have no idea what that's... Uh, what are we supposed to do for that? Oh, it bounces me up, okay. Should have been paying more attention. That's okay, I get it now. Twice. Once I fell off. Once was my fault. Hey, the other one was just four. To me, echo of my soul. The 
Looks like someone isn't holding back. We just haven't done any raiding. Please, just been too busy. I mean, Ash gets released next week, so. <laughs> That's for Alliance, so. We can still do some Savage. What's that finished metal for? Yay. Yay! That wasn't too, too bad. I mean, it's the first one, so it should be fairly simple, right? It's <laughs> all over. Until next time. E. 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 I don't know what any of this stuff looks like. Not rolling. I guess there'll be plenty more time to do it later. Let's get our openers out the way. Bravo, bravo, you were simply magnificent out there. President's eye for talent is keen as ever. So now that you have your first victory under your belt, I shall tell you more about the Arcadian. The championship traces its roots to the time in Alexandria long before the coming of the Tirali people. Very different in the beginning, though, with matches pitting recreated simulacra against each other. That's right, the very same that fought at your side, but with the advent of soul-derived resuscitation, battles to the death between living combatants became the norm, and all without any actual deaths. The contest evolved once more after Zorwal Jaw was made king. It was he who proposed the idea, proposed the use of feral souls to enhance one's flesh, leading to the technology for it being devised. It was... So it was that combatants took on the power and likeness of beast, and the audience experienced newfound heights of excitement. However, when Zorol Jaw raised the banners of war to embark on his conquest, all feral souls were reserved for the army's use. We had no choice but to suspend operations at the Arcadian. What happened afterwards, I believe you know. Having gone mad, the king was vanquished by your hands, and shortly thereafter, our beloved queen was taken from us. But we are thankfully safe now. Sadness and uncertainty darken our hearts. Some may think it in poor taste to resume the championship now of all times, but it is now most of all that people need cheering up, and as I mentioned when we first spoke, we wish to help them forget their cares. Did you see how the audience roared when you, the upstart challenger, triumphed over our rising rookie? You have captured their imaginations, and I hope you will continue to do so. Uh, I can't believe I lost to someone who wasn't even using a feral soul. What are you? A warrior of light. Damn it all, I can't leave things like this. Hey, would you mind if I watched you for a while? Don't worry, I don't have any hard feelings. I'm just curious, that's all, about what you can do. Can I stop her from watching? Be my guest, as long as you don't get underfoot. As Fickle as a feline, that one, but I do hope you won't hold it against her. Deep down, she has a good heart. 100, the claw in the dark. Complete.
Level 100, Sweet Poison. Meet him would introduce you to introduce your next opponent. Although unexpected company has appeared, let us focus on the match ahead. Allow me to introduce your next opponent. This is Honey Bee, lovely the, the 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 darling of the Arcadia. Honey Bee, darling. Okay, as you can doubtless guess, she utilizes the soul of a bee and an extremely venomous one at that. But rather than her poison, you should be wary of her ability to charm all before her. For in addition to her winsome charm, which serves her well as a songstress, she can produce the pheromones of a queen bee to enthrall even her foes. Those who fall under her spell delight in the torment she unleashes upon them. This is why the audience will be spectating via special contraptions cloaked in holograms. It wouldn't do to have hundreds of people be enthralled. In short, there's nothing lovely about her, despite what she might claim. You're in for a bad time. Maybe so, but I have faith that you will prevail. Now, sally forth and show us your medal. AAC Light Heavyweight M2. Do you find about updated with a new regular duty? Level 100, AAC Light Heavyweight M2. Having bested Black Cat, you prepare to face your second opponent, Honey Bee Lovely. With the pheromones of a queen bee and the charm of a song, first she enthralls her foes before finishing them with deadly venom. If you are to resist her charms, you must steal yourself for a captivating confrontation. Finally. Took a while. Cool party, Dr. L, AAC Light Heavyweight M2. <laughs> okay, so the hologram crowd. You can do that too. Sweet poison, honey be lovely. The honey be lovely show has begun. Let's put on a lovely show for the audience. Hey, we don't know what she's doing because it's our first time. Doing the spotlight. Charms. Okay, what do we do here? Oh, she's definitely feeling your love. Or do we each have to pick Can one or something? I know I can't. Damn. 
hand in it. Oh, it's like... Okay. Her charms were not to be denied. I'll make you mine. I do I get hit? And get out of it quick enough. Is everyone having a good time? to make it interesting. Mm. Here comes our fearsome venom strike! Oh, I got hit. Something. What? Are you kidding me? It didn't work? B is for brilliant. I'm not sure of all the mechanics yet. What's this? Honeybee has changed her routine. Okay. Just getting started. <laughs> Oh, I got hit. <laughs> it like spawned right in front of me. Oh, that got me. Yeah, I couldn't get out of it. I got cornered. Oh, well. Me, 
Even I felt that one. Oh, but the challenge is still standing. B is for break you to a bloody pulp. Yep, that one hit me. What a clash! Neither side is willing to yield. We're almost done with it, right? Nine percent. We'll get there. We're just getting started. <laughs> you know me, I like it. If it's goofier, the better. All right. That was fun. <laughs> KO. The match hey. is decided. Victory goes to the challenger. Mm -hmm. Right. It's all over. Until next time. Get some of them this time. I want to let me roll on these. Oh, why won't it let me roll on these? I only want to take. Oh, okay. Really? Seems odd. I don't know how new content goes, to be honest with you. What is a performance? That, what a performance that was. I knew you could do it, my friend. I think you actually managed to take Honey Bee down. You're the real deal. This victory, you're now eligible to challenge the reigning champion of the light heavyweight division. And as eager as I am to see you claim the crown, it will take some time to make arrangements for the match. While you wait, why not find yourself a second? That is, someone who supports you by gathering information on your opponents and giving advice on your training. Wait, if she needs a second, then please let me do it. Those who lose aren't allowed to fight for a while, so I'm free, but above all, I'd like to see the person who defeated me defeat everyone else, too. Hmm, as an active fighter, I suppose you would know your opponents better than most. If Zilli is willing, then I certainly wouldn't object. I'd be happy to have Black Cat in my corner. I don't see why not. You won't regret this. Now, if I'm to be your second, you ought to know my real name. I'm Yana. I look forward to working together. A 
Let's head to my gym. It's a bit messy, but it's far more comfortable than in this dreary old place. You seem to have everything well in hand. I will excuse myself. I shall see you again when it is time for the match. Level 100, Sweet Poison. Level 100, Yana's Yarn. Yana is keen for a change of scenery. Right then, follow me. The gym isn't too far from here. Hey, aren't you Zilly the fighter who doesn't use a regulator? They not only fight, but win without using a feral soul. You're absolutely amazing. I'll be cheering for you from now on. I was so surprised when I saw you in the ring. You're the hero who protected us from the soldiers. I've been your biggest fan ever since. You'll win your next match too. I just know it. You heartless fiend, how dare you embarrass our sweet honeybee like that. I hate you. Idol fans, huh? Enjoy this feeling while you can, new blood. You'll be begging for mercy come your next match. My, the fans are quite riled up today. I understand the need to let out their frustration, but I wish they could find more productive ways to use that energy. Uh, but do excuse me, I'm something of a storyteller, and I have a keen interest in seeing how this championship unfolds. When you have a moment, I would love to ask you a few questions. Wait, you're Black Cat. What are you doing keeping company with the last who just beat you? Probably why you lost. You don't have any pride. Humph, I'd much rather watch your sister fight. Nobody put on a show like Wicked Thunder. This is never ending. Let's get out of here. Wicked Thunder. Looks like we managed to slip away. Come on, the gym's just over here. Wait. Here it is. Tri Tales Training, the home of Alexandria's finest, finest fighters. That being said, I'm the only one here at the moment. It's also my actual home. The first floor is where I live, and the basement is where I train. Now, don't be shy. Go on in and make yourself comfortable. Pleasure to meet you, miss. My name is Nayuni. Thank you very much for looking after my sister. I did beat her up first. <laughs> Thanking her for knocking me out, are you? Yeah. Anyway, as you may have pieced together, I have two sisters, and though they're gone now, our parents were originally from Tyrol. They happened to be in Isolani when the dome appeared and ended up trapped. Here they took up work as hunters, but they were always opposed to regulators and never wore them, and one day they went out and never came back. Truth be told, I became interested in you because you reminded me of our parents. Like them, you're averse to using souls. We, on the other hand, don't see such a problem with the practice, so at our sister's urging, we started wearing regulators after mother and father died. Only because they weren't wearing regulators when they passed that we can still remember them. Whether we're better or worse off for it, I can't say. I was too little to understand when it happened, but I've heard the story from my sister, so when I see you fight, I can't help but feel anxious. I say this knowing your stance, but won't you consider wearing a regulator in matches, if only to revive yourself should the worst come to pass? 
Afraid you can't change people's minds when it comes to soul use, Niyuni. It's a question of culture and upbringing. Rather than talk about such things, we should celebrate. You've won two championship matches now. This calls for drinks. We've only got energy tonics, but it's the gesture that counts, right? I mean, it is a gem, so... You're celebrating even though you lost. Come by. So after what that delightful fan said outside earlier, I imagine you're curious about my sister. Her name is Eutrope. She rose to be a top contender in the heavyweight division. She became a fighter to look after me and the uni first and foremost, but it turned out she was great at it. Hardly surprising, I suppose. She always excelled at anything she set her mind on. She was a natural at combat, and on top of that, she mastered how to wield Electro. Hold on, I have just a thing. Wicked Thunder was her ring name. She harnessed the Levin Steed's soul in conjunction with Electrope and could shapeshift to adapt to her enemies in battle. Confident enough in what I can do, Eutrope herself taught me how to fight, but I could never emulate her fighting style. Thing is, she just disappeared one day without saying a word to us. She was so close to being immortalized, too. Right? You wouldn't know. All Arcadian fighters retire young. Feral soul transfiguration is just too much of a burden on the body. Those who fight at the age of 20 are immortalized in the Ascension Arcadia Hall of Fame. This comes with the privilege of moving to the luxury residence on Everkeep's upper level, where they can live out their days in comfort. Eutrope threw all of that away when she vanished. I can't wrap my head around why. That's enough reminiscing for now. Can't be long now before your next match, so let's head back to the Arcadian. Good luck, and please be careful. There's a new quicker way to get there. To the Arcadian, yes. Here we go. I'll do my best to support you as your second. 100. Yana's yarn. Please. A 100. Vile heat. Yana's excitement is palpable. If you win this next fight, you'll become champion of the light heavyweight division. Let's give it everything we've got. have been a contender. All right, let's take a look at your opponent. We have a surprise fourth contestant. That there, I regret to say, is the reigning light heavyweight champion, Brute Bomber. 
If he uses the might of the bomb, King to ignite all that he touches, but that'll be the least of your worries. He's a dirty fighter who'll do anything and everything to win. The rules be damned. Countless of his opponents have had to be carried to the infirmary. You'll be fine, I'm sure of it. If you bested me, you can best the brute bomber, too. Now go and blast that loathsome lout out of his own ring and come back here, the new champion. Hey, AC Light Heavyweight M3, now accessible. Duty Finder has been updated with a new regular duty. Duty. AAC Light Heavyweight M3, the time has come for you to your title match against the Brute Bomber who wields the explosive power of the Bomb King. Yet he did not become champion by playing by the rules, and if you were to bring this despised heel low, you must prepare to face all that he may bring to bear. Alright, level 100, M3, commence. Full party. AC Light Heavyweight M3, Jacques Terrell. He's a looker, huh? Heat Brute Bomber. But his face has a very Akuma like look. I'll blow you to smithereens. The Brute Bomber has muscled his way into the ring. The challenge is still standing! Murderous miss. You should know that I have a short fuse! Fuses of fury. Fuses are ignited. What are we supposed to do about him? Oh. <laughs> oh my! The challenger went okay. down hard. Still not quite sure what happened. I mean, I understand the AoE, but I don't know how you tell which ones are first or... Done. 
Uh, okay, hit again. The targeting's all off. Okay, that was bad. Don't quite understand how you figure out who's first, which one's blow first. I need to pay closer attention. We'll get it eventually. Disqualified. He just assaulted the referee. The scoundrel. What a heel. <laughs> no more distractions. Beautifully dodged. Uh, went the wrong way. A vicious blow. Oh, that'll leave a mark. I can't lose. I won't. There's like a lot going on. Can't see past my damn summon half the time. Okay, this is the one that gets me. Let's go first. Yeah! And we'll get the hang of it eventually. I don't suppose everybody does well their first time, right? I mean, you can actually see, like, the fuses. I couldn't get out the mist. Right. Well, we got through it. So what's the fourth? The fourth one.
KO. The match is decided. Victory goes to the challenger. Hey, it's nice to be happy after like that for so long. Like me. It's all over. Until next time. Hello, armor. And then light heavy hollow armor. That piece of gear per week. You did it. You really did it. Even though you beat me, I'm absolutely over the moon for you. It's truly really astonishing what you can do without a feral soul. With this, you're now the light heavyweight champion. Congratulations. Now there's going to be a ceremony to officially crown you champion. All and sundry will be watching, so make sure you wear something you won't regret. Ready, are you? Then let's get you on stage for your big moment. So I guess I'll get challenged by someone. My fellow citizens, we are gathered to recognize a new champion in the Arcadia and a rising star who shot to the top of the light heavyweight division at breakneck speed. Without further ado, please give a warm welcome to the woman of the hour. The unstoppable upstart, the unenhanced but unbeatable, the one and only Zilla Lazare. Hold it right there. Your victory was a farce and I refuse to accept it. Oh my, it appears Brute Bomber is unsatisfied with the outcome of his match. You fought with AW. How is that fair? Let's settle this one on one, just you and me. You want to talk about fair? It's supposed to be one on one. Fight with that, your bloody bomb king. Put your mouths. I make the rules here. Do you? Oh, is that going to be her sister, the Thunder? When the world just happened. You trope. I don't believe it. Wicked Thunder, the heavyweight fighter who suddenly vanished, has returned. I will have your soul. Prepare yourself. What's this? Wicked Thunder has just challenged the unstoppable upstart. More than that, she's a heavyweight, right? We don't have to work our way up to that. Alas, as much as I wish to bear witness to their clash, Wicked Thunder's license was revoked upon her disappearance. I am unable to sanction such a match. Intriguing, most intriguing. This voice, is it? It's the president. I will allow a special exhibition match. Prepare Wicked Thunder's ring and prepare yourself, upstart. You heard it, folks. By permission of the president, a match will be held. Who will emerge the victor? Neoteric witch or the unenhanced warrior? This is an event you cannot afford to miss.
Level 100, the Neoteric Witch. Yana wears a pensive expression. Putro, where have you been and why have you come back now? Why didn't you come by the house first? I'm sorry, it's just I wasn't prepared to see my sister like that. It's a shame your big moment was spoiled, but now that the match has been decided, there's nothing for it but to prepare. As a former heavyweight fighter, you trips more than a cut above everyone you've faced thus far. Even so, having seen how quickly you've climbed up the ranks to become champion, I reckon you're far from overmatched. Nayuni mentioned Eutrope, or rather Wicked Thunder, harnesses the Levensteed soul and employs Electrope in battle. Her ring is a recreation of an imaginary city designed to allow her the full use of her powers. Her bouts are notoriously so dangerous that there isn't even seating for spectators. While she's my sister, I'm your second. So you go out there and you win that, and you win this. Okay. Accepted. AC Light Heavyweight M4, now accessible. Duty Finder has been updated with new regular duty. <laughs> duty. AAC Light Heavyweight M4, in the midst of your crowning ceremony, you are challenged by none other than the electrifying Wicked Thunder, sister of Yana and former heavyweight fighter of Fane. The Ascension Arcadia president has authorized a special exhibition match for this thunderous clash. Now the realm waits with bated breath. Wondering who will emerge victorious, the unstoppable upstart of the Neoteric Witch. Okay. All right. Let's do this. AAC Light Heavyweight M4. AAC Light Heavyweight M4, Jacques Terrell. Everything Electro. You're gonna look like Ixion. Wielding both magic and machina, she's a witch for a new age, the wondrous Wicked Thunder! Yeah, sorta. The Oteric Witch, Wicked Thunder. Personal, but I must have your soul. Wicked Thunder has returned to the ring. That is seven. Trope has many uses. Watch and learn. Oh, look at that massive cannon. Her skills are as sharp as ever. Where are we supposed to go? I see it now. Oh, <laughs> I'll get hit again. 
wasn't paying that much attention. Thought it was back and forth. Okay. Sort of see it now. <laughs> Did not go well. Wicked white. of Zeus. Oh, missed one. Didn't even see that one. Oh no. Thank you. <laughs> I was running the wrong way. Catch on quick. Oh dear, the challenger has fallen out of the ring. Seems pretty PO. I got a new take on a raid wide. <laughs> <laughs> I should be coming back. In a shocking turn of events, Wicked Thunder has fled the ring. Our unstoppable upstart is victorious. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. AAC light heavyweight tier complete. We did it. Barely, but we did it. Recommendation. Venus. Until next time. Ooh, we don't have that yet. Okay, what are we looking at? Hollow chassis. How many of these do we need to turn in? Is that it? All I can get. You're safe, thank goodness, but for you to actually triumph, it seems you have the stuff to succeed even in the upper divisions. I was hoping to have a word with you, Trope, but she's disappeared again. There's nothing else to do now, so let's head back to the gym. I want to go back to the gym. At least you could have done was teleport me. You need to have watched the fight at home. I wonder what she thought of, well, everything. Come on, let's head in. I'm relieved you unharmed, but what a shock it was to see you trope again, and, that, and in that manner. What are you doing here? Well, no matter. I'm not here to fight you, but to talk to my sisters. Good, because we have a mountain of questions for you. Why did you disappear without a word? What exactly have you been doing all this time? I'll explain everything in due course, but if you want to live, Yana, you need to give up fighting right now. But why? Because if you repeatedly transfigure your flesh with a feral soul, you'll eventually develop psycho psychonecrosis and an irreversible disease where your own soul degrades. Once it's begun, it's too late. All you can do is await death, like me. This, this can't be true. I knew these were risk. There were risks, but isn't that why fighters are immortalized so we can get out before it's too late? Yana, have you ever met one of the immortalized? A life of comfort promised at retirement is just a lie woven to exploit us and cover up our deaths. But I remember them all. How can that be if they're dead? Rather than to new homes, the fighters are taken to a secret facility. There, their regulators are removed, and they are kept in confinement until they die. Without their regulators fitted, every ever keeps systems have no way of detecting their death, nor of preserving their memory. I had noticed changes to my body, and so decided to seek the counsel of the immortalized, and when I snuck into the president's office to ascertain their whereabouts, I discovered the sordid truth. I feared I would become another victim if I remained, and so I disappeared and began searching for a cure to the illness. Did you find one? In theory, the remedy is another person's soul, but an ordinary one won't do. No, it has to be a surpassingly dense. Like yours, I bear you no ill will, but you're my only hope of survival. Rather than ambush you in the city and cause a disturbance, I challenged you in the ring, certain I would claim my prize. I knew the president wouldn't pass by the opportunity for a thrilling match, but I had become weaker than I'd realized. It's, it's the only reason we're having this conversation now. Next time, I will have your soul. 
Wait, you chope, even if it's to save yourself, you can't just take the soul of another. It isn't right. It's easy for you to say you don't live with the knowledge that every single moment your soul is being eaten away. We have a spy in our ranks. He's dropping. Forgive my intrusion. I'd come to see how you were faring after your sister's sudden appearance, but I fear I've overheard something most distressing. That you didn't know either, despite your position in Ascension Arcadia? Had I known, I assure you I would not commentate with such enthusiasm. It was in the belief that our fighters were safe that I enjoyed my work. There's only one thing to do. We make the truth public and stop the fights. I don't want anyone else to suffer. Oh no, that is the worst thing we could possibly do. The president shows no mercy to those who get in his way. If we go public with his secret, no one would be safe. Not you or me or any other fighters. That Eutrope has kept silent, I suspect, is because she understood this. I suppose you're right. In hindsight, it's because he's such a ruthless man that he could ever cover up the disease. I believe we have but one recourse. Billy, you must rise to the very summit of the Arcadian and become the Grand Champion. See, the Grand Champion has granted access to all, all the souls in our repository. While it wouldn't be the intended purpose of this privilege, you would be at liberty to release them. By thus getting rid of all feral souls left, the fighters would no longer be at risk. With the skill you've displayed thus far, I have faith that you can do it. You can count on me. That was my intention anyway. Sure, as long as I keep getting rewarded. Good, good. Now, it would garner suspicion if I lingered too long, so I shall take my leave, if you'll excuse me. As you'll recall, I can't fight in any matches for a while, and given what I know now, it's just as well. But I'll, of course, continue to support you best I can. At the same time, Nayuri and I'll, and I'll undertake our own search for a cure to psychonecrosis. There has to be a way to save our sister without sacrificing you or anyone else, for that matter. Oh, I mean... We know a bunch of people that are good with souls and stuff. Call Stola. To be honest, I'm still trying to wrap my head around everything. Put on a brave face at Niyuni's sake, but the truth is I'm terrified. I'm really glad to have you with us in this. This has become more than just a fighting competition, but for the sake of our goal, we'll have to go along with it. So come and find me here when it's time to begin your cruiserweight campaign. Ah, there is our new light heavyweight champion. I've been most eager to talk to you, my friend. That guy gonna turn out to be the president? Yeah. Leave a proper introduction is in order. My name is Gabro, and I am a cartoonist, that is, a storyteller and a medium of art. Most of my works are inspired by the battles in the Arcadian, and I'd love nothing more than to chronicle the journey of an unstoppable upstart. I can make myself available nearby for when you have a moment to share your tale. Or is that just the guy for Savage? Gabro's works are tremendously popular in Solution 9, and the fact that he wants to make a story about you is proof of your own popularity. You could do worse than to have a chat with him. Level 100, Neo Neoteric Witch. Complete. 